Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Rise family. Kendra Brown with Cap Photos and Rise Workshops back in California. Still really haven't slept, but I did at least get the red out of my eyes. Uh, thank you for joining us. We have four live viewers at this time. If you have not already, uh, give Facebook permission to see your name. So I'll be able to see your name in the comments. And if I bring your, uh, your comment across the screen, your name will show up so we'll know who you are. So give Facebook that permission. You'll see it right above the live video. You'll see a little link there. And I think you have to cl click a couple of buttons and then I'll be able to see your name. As we're waiting, we have eight live members in here. Uh, go ahead and put in the comments, put in your name and where you're, where you're watching from. And then we'll go ahead and get started here in a few moments. We're gonna wait a couple of minutes and see what we can do. Uh, in the meantime, let's throw a little commercial in. Uh, we announced that Melissa Graham, how are you doing? I got a Facebook user that I do not see your name. Give Facebook your permission. Uh, let me bring you across so you can see what I see. Just says Facebook user. So whoever this is with the hey, go ahead and look above the video and give Facebook permission so that your name will show up on the uh, on the screen when I bring you across. Uh, I see Sydney on the road. Sydney, I don't expect you to pull over and give Facebook permission, but glad you're listening and drive safely, my brother. Uh, we've got another user, Shutterbug, you got it down. So this is how you're gonna show up. If you give Facebook permission, you'll show up like this. How you doing? Glad you could jump in, Shutterbug. Uh, I got a hey from Virginia, but I'm not sure who, all right, we got Bob in here. How you doing, Bob? And who else we got in here? Hey from Virginia, whoever put the hey from Virginia, give Facebook permission so we can see your name. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and move forward. I'll give a quick little couple of second review on what happened in uh, Virginia uh, and West Virginia. Uh, flew in on what day? I don't even remember anymore. I think it was Friday. Was it Friday? Yeah, Friday the seventh. Flew into West Virginia. Uh, Howie drove from West Virginia to Pittsburgh. Picked me up at the airport because I like to fly Southwest. Uh, there is a smaller airport in West Virginia, uh, but again, I like to fly Southwest. So it was a little bit of a journey from Pittsburgh to West Virginia, but it was all good. We had an opportunity to talk and go over a lot of things during the journey. And that's enough of that. Uh, I don't want to waste our 30 minutes talking about that stuff, but we will cover some of that stuff later. So we got Howie jumped in. Uh, that's Oh, that's Jen. Jen from Virginia. Okay, cool. And let's go ahead. And the person that I'm about to interview, how did he come to be in Rise? We actually recruited him. Kane saw this young man's post a year, year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, I saw his post and saw his comments, saw his work, and it kind of stuck with him. And then recently, I'd say within the last three weeks or so, maybe, uh, Kane was doing dishes and, and Sean's name just came across his heart and his mind. And he brought it up to me, s took a screenshot of Sean's uh, uh, Facebook page and sent that to me. I looked and did my Facebook stalking and I'm like, you know, this is outstanding. This 16 year old young man is out there doing it. You know, I wish a lot more young folks would just go out there and grab the bull by the horns and, and go with it. So we called Sean and uh, uh, told him who I was, told him, uh, uh, I think he had heard of Kane before and asked if his mother was there. And he said, no, she's not here right now. Uh, I said, well, if you can give me a call back, tell your mother that you know, I'd like to speak with you about your work and photography in general and call back when your mom is home. So mom called back and we talked and kind of went on from there. And here he is now. Mom gave us permission to, you know, work with her son, et cetera. So that's where we're at. So let me go ahead and do a little intro here uh, for Sean, and then we'll bring Sean in. So here we go. We got 13 viewers. Welcome. Enjoy this little clip of uh, some of Sean's work.
All right, one second. Let me get my act together here. There we go. So that's some of Sean's work. Uh, he had quite a few other images to share, and we wanted to put that together for him so he'd have some uh, video work to show. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and bring in Sean Holmes all the way from, how do you say it, uh, Smyrna, Delaware. If I messed it up, Sean, you fix me. So here we go. Sean, welcome to the broadcast. How you doing? Can you hear me okay, Sean? Hold on. Audio, audio. Can you hear me, Sean? No? Did he freeze on us? Hold on. Let me pop him out and bring him back in. All right. Can you hear okay, Sean? Sean, can you hear? Hold on. We might have an audio, Dick, but we did do our test. Hold on one sec. One sec. Back in. Can't hear you. I just see a black circle. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We got some. I hear you now. There we go. All right, you got a little bit of a delay, Sean. We had it for a minute. I'm going to pull you out and pull you back in, see if it clears it. Let's see. All right, how about that? Test, test, one, two. Uh, you might have a slow. Yep. Okay. Hey. You are frozen on your end. Go ahead and talk. Give me one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right. It's a little bit of a delay, but we're going to make it work. So I will ask what I want to ask, and then we'll just wait for the delay to catch up, and we'll go from there. we got 15 viewers. Welcome, everybody. Uh, this is Sean Holmes from Delaware. And, Sean, uh, let me ask you this. What got you interested in photography? I was on vacation, and that's really where it all started at. Yeah, that's really where it all started at. And from just from there, I just keep grinding and grinding and just rose to the top. One of the top, at least. All right. And you are currently 16 years old. You'll be 17 in July. And how old were you when you picked up a camera and started your business? So I was about 13. I was in eighth grade when I started my business. All right. If that didn't come through across the broadcast, he was in the eighth grade, 13 years old, when he picked up his camera and started his business. If you haven't had a chance to take a look, and you don't have to do it now, but let's go ahead and bring his site across so you can see it. There's Sean's website right there, otmphotography22.com. And he started his business in the eighth grade. He actually has his LLC. He has all of his act together, uh, probably more than a lot of us have our act together at such a young age. And that was another thing that was very impressive to us. So, Sean, what platform are you shooting with? What type of camera are you shooting with? Uh, so I shoot with two Nikon Z, well, Z6s. That's my main, my main camera bodies as far as lenses go sports wise it's a 200 to 400 f4 8518 and a 47 all right uh he's shooting the nikon platform he has a couple of the new mirrorless i heard an 85 and i heard something with an f4 it's really choppy it's really choppy is there anybody else using internet in the house that you can shut it down with your bandwidth. I think it's your bandwidth that's causing this. Is there anything else going on other than you? Okay. Okay. We'll pause for a second. Go ahead and check that out. And then as soon as you come back in, I'll bring you back in. All right, folks, we're going to give Sean a second to see if he can check his bandwidth. Uh, we want the quality of the video to be good and, and worth your time. We have 16 viewers in here. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at the comments while we're pausing. I can see Sean in the background. So as soon as he comes back in, um, I will bring him back in. Uh, this is Howie. Howie says, Tommy needs to pause the war zone update. I'm guessing that's some kind of video game. Uh, 
Sean will see these on the replay. Nice work, Sean. Hey, Sean. Outstanding work. And I think we already popped in John from Texas. And we got Jeff from Texas. Jeff, glad you were able to jump in. You're driving. I hope you're not watching and you're just watching the road and listening. And you can watch the replay when you get to a safe place. We don't want to lose anybody on the road. Um, so while I'm watching Sean in the background, I'll go ahead and cover a couple of other items as well. Uh, we are going to go ahead and put a post up uh, probably shortly after this broadcast with the information regarding the conference that will be the uh, 26th and 27th, I believe, of July. Uh, we'll put that information up, including the websites to the hotel and the actual venue where we, where we will be shooting. For those of you who have ever attended Sync Sports way back in the day when they were at Spooky Nook, this is like Spooky Nook 2 in Virginia, in this particular uh, venue. So it's going to be all the way live. Um, we've got a lot of content that's going to be coming out. We have other announcements pretty huge announcements that are going to be coming out later on. But this one, I know a lot of folks were waiting on the venue information so that they could uh, go ahead and uh, lock that down in their calendars and go from there. Uh, let's see. I'm going to look at some of these comments. Okay, I think I see Sean. Looks like he might be ready. i love to hear about the Nikon mirrorless shooting sports. Okay, we will ask Sean that. And let me check real quick and see if he's good. Okay. Back. Okay. Do do do. Got that. Sorry for the pause. I'm trying to multitask here. Do -do -do. Manners. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and bring him in and see if we're good here. All right, Sean. Are we better? Yes. Should be good now. There we go. There we go. Did mom hop on there? She was watching Netflix or something. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> more like my iPad downloading stuff. Oh, there you go with the iPad download. Howie said you must have been downloaded Warzone or something. It must be some video game. Uh, that's what Howie said. So uh, um, Melissa Graham made a comment here. Love to hear about the Nikon <laughs> mirrorless. <laughs> she said, love to hear about the Nikon mirrorless yep. shooting sports. So what, what has been your experience with the Nikon mirrorless uh, shooting sports? Um, you know, it has its days. I would say it's about 80% ready for sports. Um, I came from a D4. So actually I sold my D4 to get another Z6. Um, best decision I ever made. Autofocus is fast. 12 frames per second is fast. Battery life. They they tell you otherwise, but I get about 2000 shots on uh, a single battery. Um, so far, I love it. There's nothing, I don't have too many complaints. Um, if I did have any complaints, I would probably say it's a little small in my hands. Um, yeah. It's not bad. It's a little small. Uh, right. It's not bad. I mean, you get used to it. Okay. Other than that, cool, um, cool. I love the cameras. So good. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yep. We're, we're we're breaking up a little more, Sean. I, I wanted to ask you about your 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 parents. I mean, at 16 years old currently and eight years old, you know, getting this thing started. Can you tell me your about your parents influence on, on helping you to get your business going at such a young age? Yeah, so um, I would say the majority of the help came from uh, my father. So my dad owns a uh, government construction business. He has a uh, government contracts with multiple agencies across the uh, across the Mid Atlantic on this side, the East Coast. Want to do it right? So he made me go get an LLC. Now, mind you, I um, when I got my LLC, I wasn't making anything. I uh, I think that month I did five dollars in sales. And right. that was because uh, he he knew a friend who gave me five dollars. <laughs> so and now um, fast forward to twenty twenty one, he uh, he handles that part the uh, the legal part because obviously I'm sixteen, so I can't necessarily have an LLC and S in my name. So he handles that part, and my taxes, he handles all that too. 
Now my mother, she's a uh, stroke coordinator at Bay Health, which is the hospital in Dover, Delaware. She, I get my people skills from her and my negotiating and just being nice and all that good stuff. I get that from her. <laughs> so um, that's about it. That is a uh, that is such a blessing. And when I had the conversation with you and your mother for the first time, um, uh, for for the viewers, just imagine your sixteen year old son. You walk in the door and he says, "Yeah, some guy, some fifty year old guy from California called me, and he wants to talk to me. And he said he wouldn't talk to me unless uh, unless you were on the line." And then uh, uh, mom gets on the line, and I'm putting myself in mom's shoes. <laughs> And like, you know, again, who is this man calling my young son, you know, from the other side of the, of the country? And uh, uh, my goal initially was to introduce myself, answer any questions that I might have as a parent before she asked one thing. So I let her know I was a retired law enforcement. I'm a photographer in California, provided my website and information, talked about Howie and Kane and uh, wanted her to feel comfortable with um, basically sharing her son with us um, because we see uh, big things for Sean. So she was all all good with that, uh, happy. Um, uh, I asked Sean, you know, in the three years that you had been working, what was the top line income? And, and Sean, if you don't mind sharing that, share that with the folks. What's the most you made in a year since you've been in business? Most I made in a year was last year, actually during the pandemic. Uh, profit was about five thousand. Got it. Okay, that's your profit. Five, not so, juggling so, school, sports, working out. Got yeah. it. So, tell me about some of your expenses because five thousand was your profit. So that's what you finished up with. So that must mean you brought in more than that because you had expenses to deduct. So what did you bring in before the taxes and all the rest was taken out? Was it 10, eight? Where were you at? Five is before what you ended taxes. up with. Yep. That's your top line number. Uh, I was right around it. Right around eight. That's what I figured. That's yes. what I figured. Okay. So eight top line after expenses got it down to, to 5,000. And that's where he was at. Um, when I heard that, cause I had no idea when I asked him that question, I had no idea what the answer was going to be. It could have been anything. I, I had no idea, but with that foundation, starting out meeting Sean, uh, I told him that's the last time you will ever make $5,000 in a year with your photography, because the skills that you have, the work that you have currently, um, even with the limited time that you have being a student. Um, Rise is going to help you uh, to get that number up. So if we can double it in 12 months, we've done a good job. Would you say that, Sean? If we can double it. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. You know, actually, um, I've already doubled that number this year, Love year it. so far. Love it. That that sounds like uh, that sounds that sounds like a negotiation to, um, end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds that sounds like a negotiation <laughs> tactic that you say you got from your mom. So you say you've already doubled it to 10. And I was getting ready to say we were going to double the five to 10. So now we got to take 10 to 20. So um uh that's what we're talking about. Uh 12 yeah, months go actually from that's the goal. Uh, we're gonna do that. Tw 12 months from the date that we met, uh, we expect that your top line is twenty thousand plus with the assistance of Rise, and that's what we are going to do. You got Howie, you got Uncle Howie, you got Uncle Cap, and you got Uncle Kane, and we're going to hold your hand through this and get you to where uh, you want to be. <laughs> so, thank you so much for that. Uh, we got 19 viewers on our, let me check the comments real quick. We are 20 minutes in. I don't want to leave anybody out. If you have comments or questions for Sean, please type them in, and I'm going to try to get to all of your questions so that they are not left out. Okay, we got all these. Let me throw this one in here real quick. Lisa, this is Lisa with Photo Day. Sean Holmes, it's been fun watching you learn all about the business and make it happen. And that is Lisa from Photo Day. Thank you for joining the broadcast, Lisa. And who we have in here? Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Uh, is this the end of July, NVA? Yes, that is July 26th and 27th. 
and I don't know uh, how he's on here, but I don't know how much I'm supposed to say right now, but it is the 26th and 27th. We do want to give you a description and more information. We want to give you that and tell you your options as far as coming and attending the conference. So let's see what we got here. Uh, Kane, Kane is in. How are we going to have one of the RISE members didn't even add his name so we can see his name? Come on, come on, uh, come on. You got to work on that, uh, Kane. So here we go right here. Everybody starts somewhere. Uh, big fan, man. Uh, we got a big woohoo. Uh, here we go with Shutterbug again. I've met Shutterbug years ago at a photography conference, and we've been friends ever since. Uh, what do we say here? You can't say nothing. I don't know who that is. <laughs> and let's see who we got in here. Calvin, you're late to the party. He had a nice video in the beginning. I'll play it again. I will play it again. And uh, I came to see my pick, and that's all we have in there with the comments. So, Sean, uh, 16 years old, you're in high school. You're a junior in high school, correct? Yes. I attend some in high school in Delaware. Lovely. What are your, are you virtual right now or you actually attend, or is it both? So, I'm virtual. We had the option to pick, so I picked virtual for the rest of the year. Gives me a uh, better okay. flexibility of running the business and school. <laughs> is it is there anybody else listening to Sean and you hear some grown man uh uh the way he speaks the way he answers the way he acknowledges matter of fact one of the earlier uh, messages we went back and forth probably after I spoke with his mom he uh what 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 did you say Sean did you say Kendrick you call yes, me Kendrick I, call, I called you Mr Kendrick right and then uh I said it's okay you can go ahead and call me Cap um, uh, uh, but I think that was probably mom's influence thinking, wait a minute, I'm 16 years old. He's 50 years old. This ain't no first name basis. He's my elder. And it was a respect thing. And yeah. I acknowledge, I acknowledge that. I acknowledge that, but that's, that's just good home training. Just good home training. Right. Uh, Sean, you are an example for young people everywhere, not just people of color, but all young folks, uh, what you're doing. And I think, um, I don't think I already know, um, in the future, um, the fact that we all met in this fashion, um, I see big things for you as far as helping a lot of other young people to have some goals, have some direction in their life, you know, all the things that they're doing out there that are negative. Um, no, you're not you're not involved in that stuff. You're about your your business, you know, and moving forward and really appreciate that. And, and even more so appreciate your mother and your father when I acknowledge both of them. Um, let's see. Let me throw this in here. We got a message here from Brian. Love watching Sean grow in the business and see his skills improve. Uh, we got a question here for you, Sean, uh, from Melissa. How did you start mm -hmm. shooting on the sidelines? Um, start shooting on the sidelines. So in my opinion, I know there was a question about this. I can't remember if it was in this group or another group. Honestly, there is no other group. There is no other group. <laughs> yeah, no other group that I'm a part of like this. You're absolutely correct. Um, how do you start shooting on the sidelines? Honestly, I my first time, I just showed up. Now, granted, was that the best thing to do? Absolutely not. I was kicked off. I was sent home. <laughs> happens. Um, came back the next time with credentials, and that's when uh, – really, you just need credentials to get started, in my opinion. That's the best right. way. Um. Sean, what you did is what I did. I call it mashing the field. When, when, yeah. you have, when you have a camera that's a decent size, more than you know the pocket camera or anything like mm -hmm. that, um, it, it, it garners respect. Right. And what I, what I did when I first started is I would go in with that camera. I'd go, say, say Friday night football, go to the ticket booth, and I'd say, I'm covering the game tonight. Do I go in this gate or is there another gate I'm supposed to enter? So any answer that comes out, it is, is an answer that I want. I'm getting in. So right. you just, do I get in this way? Do I get in that way? Or do I have to pay? What, what is it? I'm, I'm getting in. And, and it was never an issue. I've never got kicked off a of field. I just acted like I belonged. And not only with the camera, but with your uniform. You can't go in there with some jeans on and, and just the old <laughs> t-shirt look like you're, you know, somebody's dad or uncle. Have your uniform, have your branding, have your stuff look like you belong. And people will think that you belong. So that, that's very important. So uh, with what Cap just said, I never really 
I'm gonna be honest, I don't have any shirts or hats that say my uh, with my logo on it. It's just me. In school, I'm known for wearing sweatsuits. So I actually have one on now, all black. Right. Ones, I show up the games. I said, right. And I honestly, I look like I'm older than 16. So no one really ever questioned me. Right. That That is a fact. We're going to work on your branding game. We're going to work on that. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, and absolutely. That's part of getting to that 20, 20 stacks. Right. Uh, let's see who we got here. We got another comment right here. Another Brian, I love your engagement. You're always engaged when we hop on these lives. I appreciate it. Wish my kids had his drive. Have them watch this replay. That'll probably help them out. We've got another one pop in here. Brandon, how you doing, Brandon? Appreciate you rock, rocking that uh, uh, the Rise uh, sticker we sent you on your truck. I appreciate that. Hello, everyone. Checked out his page. Love the work. Uh, we Thank got Lisa you. popping in again. Remember when we found out he was 15? We were shocked. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Uh, Let's see. Keep up the great work, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I know, right? I was like, uh, this is a 15-year-old. Get out. And uh, now, now that you know his age, just go back and rise and look at his comments to other people's work and whatever. Just in general, look at it. And you're, you're just when, when he was responding, when he first came, he came in right off the bat, came in, going in, you know, comments or replying. Uh, he, he really knows his Nikon. Sean reminds me of like those review guys. When you want to go on and find out about some gear or something, he, he's like that guy. He knows everything about everything that, that you ask him about. He'll lead you in the right direction or give you his opinion about it. And uh, that that's that's a compliment, by the way, uh, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see. We got another one here flying through. Uh, John, this Kane, we will get you a sticker. <laughs> okay. John um, Kane um, said he got you on the sticker. We are 27 minutes in. Uh, let me run through again and see if there are any other questions coming through. I want to make sure I hit everybody. I at least flashed you across the screen. But if you have a question for Sean, get it in. We got about two minutes because I need to get back to work as well. Uh, Jeff, doo -doo -doo, I think we got all those. Let me look down on the bottom. Get a sticker. John's King. Okay. I think we covered all the questions. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Uh, Sean, I thank you so much for taking this time to spend with us. Um, uh, we are proud of you. We're looking forward to seeing your future. Um, uh, I'd like to do a FaceTime one time so I can see your mom. I got to talk to her, but I, I want to see her and just just let her see my eyes when I talk about her son. Uh, yeah. We got one, got one more question. Also, like All right, let's see where we mm -hmm. at. I remember when we found it, 15. Hello, everyone. Uh, is that Tracy Griffith? Let's see. Or Keep up the great work. Did I miss it? Another no, one. I know. Uh, okay. Here, let me hit these. I'm just going to hit all these on the bottom. Here we go. I know, okay, we got that one. Got another one. Can I get a sticker? Got that. John, got that. Sure Coming like through. Uh, Sean, uh, what's your next? What's your end game? In game as far as photography or what I want to be as my career when I get older? Let's answer both. That way we cover it all. All right, let's do both then. Uh, Photography-wise, um, I want to be Delaware, Maryland, and Virginia's premier sports photographer. Right. And that's right. in portraits and uh, action. I love it. And then as far as my career, I want to do a uh, – I want to be a software developer, software engineer. Lovely. My name business. Lovely. Um, have you reached out to uh, uh, Damon Bell at all? Pixnub, Damon Bell? Yes, we've talked a few times. Him and um, I can't West? remember his name, but he's West? the owner of Aftershot, Aftershoot. Okay. I'm not familiar with that one, but um, you know, great. I love it. Love it. Let's see. We got another here. Let's see. Hook this guy up with a sticker as well. <laughs> got you. <laughs> we got you. The stickers are flying. We'll have all the stickers at the at the conference <laughs> as well. Yeah, the bumper sticker and the little stickers that you can put on your lens hood, etc. We will have all of those at the conference. And I hope everyone can make it. Uh, Lisa, you know, oh, that is a heck of an offer. You see that? I'll take it. Um, wow. This summer? Wow. I'll be seventeen this summer. We can do it. Well, why are tears coming in my <laughs> eyes right now? This is um, this is awesome. This is just awesome. Hold on. 
you know, everything happens for a reason. Every single thing that happens, good or bad, it happens for a reason. Sean, I see so much promise in you, and I'm so proud to have met you and have an opportunity to be a part of your life and your growth. Lisa, that offer, um, that's outstanding. This is just people coming together, helping other people. You recognize talent, you acknowledge it, and uh, this is awesome. Just awesome. Um, Shakan, that's beautiful. Congrats, Sean. Um, we're 31 minutes in. Uh, Sean, I'm gonna I'm go out with your with your video and okay. just stay on stay on for a hot second. I'm gonna pull you out. I'm gonna run your video. I'm gonna close it out and I'm gonna come back to you. So uh, give me just a second. With that, I'm going to sign off. Kendrick Brown with Cap Photos and Rise Workshops, along with Howie McCormick and Kane Sampson. Hope you guys enjoyed this live. We're 33 minutes in. We did a good job with our time. Thank you, Sean, for taking the time out to come and share your story with us. I think it was inspiring to many. Uh, Lisa, for the offer for Sean. And uh, I just see big things coming. And thank you all. I'm going to go ahead and sign off.